probably should have said something different than the word gross. I don't know. It's a weird word, too. Yeah. So um, that maybe it wasn't so nice. It's not a nice word. I didn't realize. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> issuing an apology right now. Okay. For using the word gross, but I think it was really weird. Okay. Weird is about, she should have said weird. I, I meant to say just weird, not grossy and weird. Right. So, Nick's the gross. Okay. She takes it, she retracts it. I'm retracting that. We'll contact page six, Yahoo News, Us Weekly. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> New York Times picked it up. <laughs> yeah, that's next. Oh my God. Nikki Glazer is demanding her parents apologize for their bad take on Julia Roberts' interaction with Travis Kelsey at Sunday's Taylor Swift show in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, oh, the comedian, 40, captioned a since-expired Instagram story screenshot of a news story about her parents' remarks on Tuesday, writing, My parents are going to issue an apology soon. The controversy arose from Nikki's, who defended her jokes at the Tom Brady roast, Mom Julie and Dad Edward reacting to footage of the Steel Magnolia's actress, 56, affectionately touching Kelsey's, 34, chest while talking to him. She's so gross, Julie said, adding that it was weird that the actress was itching the athlete's chest. Edward agreed, saying that Kelsey was trying to get away from Roberts. She's trying to French kiss him right now. Julie went on, adding, just kidding. She would. In the social media footage of Roberts and Kelsey, the Oscar winner simply told the Super Bowl champion that she was happy for him and Taylor. But despite the controversy, the trio had a good time at the concert, which was Nikki's 13th, Swift's favorite number, Iris show, this was my 13th show. And the best part for me is always the reveal, Nikki captioned an Instagram story video of Swift's entrance at the beginning of the show on Monday. My dad cried when we all cheered for her after champagne problems, she wrote alongside a photo of her dad tearing up.